Before we get started, I would like to go over a few items so you know how to participate in today's online conference. First, I would like to see your cooperation in completing this event. Kindly switch your mobile phones to silent mode to avoid any interruptions. Please mute your mics in your Zoom application. We would like to humbly request all participants to use your full name for display. Mainly, presenters of this co conference are requested to set in your full name to be displayed in your Zoom screen. Presenters are reminded to register your attendance in the provided link. You can do so throughout the session. Our technical staffs will be there to assist you through the chat box in case of any help needed. Feel free to drop your inquiries there. We would also like to inform you that this session would be broadcasted live via social media, and it will be also recorded for official purposes. Thank you for your kind cooperation and attention. As we are about to begin, please be prepared on your screen. And yes, please mute your mics. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to be the host for the opening ceremony of this conference. I am Pan Barasi. On behalf of the organizing committee, would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you. We appreciate you taking time off your busy schedules to join us today. We hope you will learn a lot today as we have lined up itineraries for you to be fruitful and engaging. May I request all of you to stand for our national anthem, followed by the theme song of Polytechnic Unku Oma PUO and University Kabangsa and Malaysia UKM. Please all rise, respected participants, for our national anthem. <laughs>
thank you to the technical team, Mr. Damri from Polytechnic Unko Oma. To begin this event, we are pleased to welcome our very own TS Tuan Haji Muhammad Tika, the Director of Polytechnic Unko Oma, PUO, Dr. Ishaq Muhammad, Director of Pusat Penyelidikan dan Inovasi, Jabatan Pendidikan dan College Community, JPPKK, Professor Dato IR Dr. Wan Hamidun bin Wan Badaru Zaman, the Dean of Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment, University Kebangsaan Malaysia, UKM, Associate Professor Dr. Rosila Hamid, Department of Civil Engineering Chairperson, University Kebangsaan Malaysia, our keynote speakers, Professor Dato IR Dr. Riza Atik Abdullah Orang Kaya Rahmat, Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment, University Kebangsaan Malaysia. Welcome, sir. Professor Dr. Yusri bin Haji Yusuf, Faculty of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, University Tun Husin On Malaysia, UTHM. Our conference chairperson, Professor Madia, I are Dr. Noor Easy Muhammad Yusuf, one of my very respectful mentor, a lecturer in University Kebangsaan Malaysia, UKM, and our head of department of civil engineering, Polytechnic Unku Oma, PUO, Inche Muhammad Azmi Zulkifli, the program directors, TSIR, Dr. Moza, Muhammad Razu Hanafi, Mat Yazid, University Kebangsaan Malaysia, Dr. Mazlina Alang Otman, Polytechnic Unku Oma, and to our honorable professors, doctors, lecturers, presenters, participants, organizing committee, social media viewers, students, undergraduates, and postgraduates. Please be welcomed. Proudly presenting to you the International Conference on Sustainable Cities in conjunction with the 15th Malaysian Universities Transport Research Forum Conference 2021, ICOS and MUTRFC 2021. This conference is primarily organized by us at Polytechnic Unko Oma, PUO, with our co-host, University Kebangsaan Malaysia, UKM, and Transportation Science Society of Malaysia, TSSM. We would be together in witnessing the collaboration of Polytechnic Unko Oma with University Kebangsaan Malaysia and Transportation Science Society of Malaysia, organizing this international conference featuring 33 scholars presenting their technical papers from various institutions. To begin this session, may I invite everyone to invoke the almighty ladies and gentlemen. We would like to start this event, a prayer by Inche Azman Baharung from Polytechnic Unku Oma. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Auz billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Ya Allah, ya Tuhan kami. Hanya padamu sahaja kami panjangkan kesyukuran. Atas segala rahmat dan berkatmu. Atas segala nikmat dan iradat yang telah engkau tentukan ke atas kami. Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, sesungguhnya pada hari ini kami berhimpun di dalam majlis perasmian EcoSC dan MUTRFC 2021 bagi menyatakan kesungguhan, komitmen dan iltizam kami dengan roh dan semangat untuk membangun dan membina pemimpin masa hadapan yang memanfaatkan perubahan demi agama, bangsa dan negara. Justru itu Ya Allah, berkatilah pertemuan kami ini, berkatilah jua usaha-usaha kami. Ilhamkanlah dalam fikiran dan minda kami Ada-ada yang bernas Pandangan-pandangan yang jelas Gunakanlah kepada kami limpahan ilmu yang berguna Dan kefahaman yang benar Ya Allah Ya Zal Jalal Liwa Ikram Kami memohon kekuatan dari hadratmu Ya Allah Supaya kami dapat melaksanakan segala kebajikan Dan kami pohon pelindungan dengan engkau Daripada melakukan keburukan 
Ya Allah, Engkau muliakanlah kami dengan ketakwaan dan indahkanlah diri kami dengan kesihatan. Rabbana atina fi dunia hasanah wa fil akhirati hasanah wa khina azabanna. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa barik wa sallam. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Thank you for the recitation of doa by Inche Azman Baharu. Without further delay, I would like to invite the Director of Polytechnic Umpu Oma, PUO, TS Tuan Haji Muhammad Fisal bin Harun to deliver the welcoming speech. Please be invited, Tuan Haji. Thank you, Madam MC, Dr. Pan Barasi. Can you hear me? Yes, Tuan Haji. Yes, Tuan Haji. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yang berusaha, Dr. Isaac Muhammad, Director of Research Innovation Center, Department of Polytechnic and Community Colleges Education. Yang berusaha, Prof. Dr. Insinyur Dr. Wan Hamidun Wan Badru Zaman. Dean of Faculty Engineering, Built Environment, UKM. Yang saya hormati, Associate Professor Dr. Rozila Hamid, Chairperson of Civil Engineering Department, UKM. Our keynote speaker, Prof. Datuk Insinyur Dr. Riza Atik Abdullah, Orang Kaya Rahmat, from Faculty uh, Engineering and Built Environment, UKM. And also Prof. Dr. Yusri bin Haji Yusuf from Faculty Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, UTHM. Our conference chair, Inci Azmi Zulkifli, Head of Civil Engineering Department, Uma. Prof. Madia, Insinyur Dr. Nur Izi Muhammad Yusuf, conference committee members, presenters, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to every one of you for being here with us today. It is my pleasure to welcome all the participants today from our International Conference on Sustainable Cities, ICOSC, in conjunction with 15 Malaysian Universities Transport Research Forum Conference, MUTRFC. So I am proud to announce that this conference is being conducted along with a cooperation of Angkuma Polytechnic with the uh, University Kebangsa Malaysia and Transport Science Society of Malaysia. The theme of this conference is to provide an international platform to all developers, research, researchers to engage in scientific discussion about current research uh, and latest uh, advancement in civil engineering and technology, which be enabled to the facilitate the exchange of new camps of ideas and solutions. This is the first conference in the history of our organization which completely <laughs> conducted in a digital platform in line with the social distancing norms due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The calls for papers was issued on May 2021 and 33 papers were contributed from 31 authors, including two papers from international students. We received an uh, overwhelming response and the participation to share the, their experience and research result about the engineering and social research. Then it will be discussing the practical challenges and solutions that accounted and adopted during this conference. So I would like to be to acknowledge the dedication and hard work of our talented organization staff, the members of event committees and the reviewers. We also like to express our highest gratitude to the external reviewers for providing an extra help in reviewing improve their research paper. Not to forget thanks to all authors and contrib for contributing their research in this conference. Without all of them, the event will be not possible. 
Finally, congratulations to all who involved in ensuring the smooth running of, of this conference by adopting new norms and not ignoring the COVID-19 prevention measures. Congratulations also to all presenters and the committees and the committees that makes ICOSC and MUTRFC 2021 different and special. Thank you for making time in your busy schedule to attend this conference, even though we did, not, we did it on digital platform. We look forward to seeing all of you in another conference. Thank you. Stay safe. Wabilai Taufik, Waidaya, Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tuan Haji Fisal, for that wonderful remarks. Moving on to the next agenda, I would like to invite the next VIP of our conference, Dr. Ishaq Muhammad, the Director of Pusat Penyelidikan dan Inovasi, Jabatan Pendidikan Politeknik dan College Community, JPPKK, to deliver opening speech and officiate this event. May I request Dr. Ishaq on the screen, please? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Madam MC. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera and very good morning. Teknologi Haji Muhammad Fisal bin Harun, Director of Politeknik Puma. Professor Dr. Engineer Dr. Wan Hamidun Wan Badrul Zaman from UKM. Associate Professor Dr. Rozila Hamid, also from UKM. She's our patron of the conference. Keynote speaker, Professor Datuk Engineer Dr. Liza Atik Abdullah Okir Rahman from Faculty of Engineering and Build Environment, UKM, and Professor Dr. Yusri Bin Haji Yusuf from Faculty of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, UTHM, Conference Chair, Professor Madia Engineer Dr. Izzy Muhammad Yusuf and Sibam Azmi Deputy from UO. Conference committee members, presenters, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, syukur Alhamdulillah, this morning we will be together in a very conducive program conducted from online from the Polytechnic of Uma. Firstly, I would like, uh, I'm sorry, I cannot change my uh, visual background because usually when I use Microsoft team and also Webex, uh, Windows 7 can support, but uh, this time using Zoom, that I have to upgrade my Windows 7, but this laptop cannot support. Thank you. It's a, it is a great pride and pleasure that uh, I welcome all the participants to the International Conference and Sustainable, Sustainable Cities of ICOS in conjunction with 15 Malaysia University Transport Research Forum Conference, METRFC. Firstly, I would like to congratulate the organizer, Polytechnic Unku Uma, Department of Civil Engineering, UKM, and Transportation Science Society of Malaysia, TSSM, for successfully organizing the International Conference of Sustainable City in conjunction with 15 Malaysia University Transport Research Forum Conference. Special thanks to all the keynote speakers, presenters, and conference participants from local and international organizations who have given their commitment to attend and make the conference success. I hope ICOS and MUTRFC 2001 can serve as a platform for all researchers and share best practices from within and outside the country while maintaining professional relationship for the benefit of organization. I also would like to congratulate, congratulate all the committee members who have worked hard to, hard to make this conference possible. I'm sure this conference would not have happened without the cooperation and commitment from everyone present. Ladies and gentlemen, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said, acquire knowledge and impart is to be to the people from Abdamizi. The quest for
for knowledge has been from the beginning of time, but knowledge only becomes valuable when it's disseminated and applied to benefit humankind. It is unprecedented era of COVID-19, the value holds true more than ever. Despite the hardship we have endured, it has become an opportunity for us to come together and help one another. It is hoped that this conference will be a platform to gather and disseminate the latest knowledge and update the, the wide variety of topics in addressing engineering, technology, and social science. Academicians, researchers, and engineers across discipline will be able to share and discuss new findings and the experience dealing with the latest issue in their own field. It is and we get that the intellectual discourse will result in future collaboration between university, research institution, industry, both locally and internationally. That is the gentlemen. The green and ecological development concept is becoming the emerging trend of challenges for all of us, for engineering professional, scientists, as well as researchers and academicians. The ICOS and MUT RFC 2001 goal is to provide the knowledge, enrichment, and innovative technical exchange between international researchers and scholars and practitioners practitioners from the academia and industries in the field of ecological engineering as listed at the related topic of interest. The theme of the conference is to provide the international platform to all the world developers, researchers, research and latest advancement in the civil engineering technology which facilitate the exchange of new ideas. Conference program relies on wide range of challenge and issue in sustainable cities, engineering, and technology will be shared through the keynote speakers and participant presentation session. As an optimist, we are doubted by the COVID-19 and climate change, but we can face this challenging time with courage and make the chance we want. The time is now. Join us in engineering sustainability at ICOS and MUTRFC 2001 for a better tomorrow. Finally, I would like to congratulate the organizing committee again for their tremendous effort in organizing and editing the conference for to a virtual format that is accessibility globally, norm that all of us need to embrace. I would also like to thank for all the co-hosts for their continued support and participant. Also, thanks, special thanks to UKM. Actually, I am the alumni of Faculty of Engineering, UKM. And also thank you for my friends from U3, from UTSM. I, I, I wish all of you productive and joyful time ahead. With this, I officially launched the Concern of Sustainable Cities in conjunction with 15 Malaysian University Transport Research Conference. Thank you and stay safe. Bilai Taufiq Widaya, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you for the beautiful speech and officiating this event. Thank you. Moving right along, it is now my pleasure to welcome our guest speaker, an experienced project engineer, road engineer, traffic planner, and currently professor in University Kebangsaan Malaysia, UKM, with a lined up awards, namely silver medal by Ministry of Science, Technology and Environment 2002, bronze medal at 30th Invention Competition, Geneva 2002, gold medal at Seoul Invention Award 2004, and many more excellent service, teaching and research awards. Yes, none other than Professor Dato I.R. Dr. Riza Atik Abdullah Orangkaya Rahmat, Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment, University Kebangsaan Malaysia, UKM. Our first keynote speaker with an interesting topic on 
sustainable city and the role of a higher education institution. Please be welcomed, Dr. I.R. Dr. Riza. Dato Riza, please on your mic, please. Okay, can you see my slide? Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry, I'm still struggling. <laughs> uh, to, uh, okay, it's up to my screen three bits. Uh, okay. So everything clear? You can see everything? Okay. okay, good, good. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so, Mr. Uh, Madam, uh, uh, thank you, Madam MC. And also, uh, saya hormati Tuan Haji Ma'afisa Harun, uh, Director of uh, Poly, uh, Polytechnic Unko Umar, and Dr. Isaac Muhammad, uh, Director of Research and Innovation Center, Department of Polytechnic and Communities College. And of course, my friend, Professor Tuyusri, all my colleagues, uh, our participants, a uh, very good morning. Uh, okay, I, I feel very honor, honored to be here, uh, to be invited as a keynote address, uh, to give care keynote address this morning. Uh, so uh, what, what I'm going to, uh, to talk today, to be based on my, my, my experience, uh, as a, a former Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs and International Affairs. And also now I'm actually uh, already retired, but still working in in, in, in Kebangsaan. And also as a assessor or auditor for ASEAN University Network. So I have uh, so to go to many, many universities in ASEAN uh, cities, uh, ASEAN, ASEAN cities, uh, mainly for uh, in, uh, at the uh, uh, good uh, top universities. So uh, my my talk today about sustainable city and the role of the higher education institution. So our two universities, UKM and PUO, is a higher institution, and we have very good. We, we have very uh, high, uh, very uh, we have responsibility responsibility uh, for the uh, sustainability of our cities. Eh? Uh, uh, PUO in Ipoh and UKM in, in Bangi. So let, let's have a look at the Sustainable Development Goal. Uh, we have 17 here, uh, uh, but I'm not, talk, I'm not going to talk about the 17 uh, uh, goals, but only uh, number four, number six, number seven, eight, and nine, and 11. This is uh, directly related to engineering field. This is our field actually. Yeah? Uh, the rest is uh, not related directly, so I'm not going to talk about that. Of, and, and of course, our limited time. Yeah? So, uh, the first thing, uh, the quality education, uh, number four, quality education. Um, uh, I would like to mention about University of Waterloo. It is not a uh, very famous university uh, in the US world. Uh, it is, uh, the ranking is 149 below UKM, uh, below UKM. Uh, but on the QS employability, uh, the university is number 25 and uh, the, the time education is number 2,201. Uh, and this, this university actually uh, 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 re referred by Professor uh, Clinton, uh, Clayton Christensen. He compared this university with MIT, uh, Massachusetts to Technology, because the university are uh, able to produce very good graduate uh, and uh, a very high uh, starting salary. And um, uh, in the time higher education, the, uh, the best university uh, in terms of quality education is Albok University. Albok University, eh? University I was there uh, for, for a few days. I will tell you later on what, why, what is the best thing about this university. And about the clean water and sanitation, uh, the University of North Carolina is the best uh, in the time of education uh, because the research and also uh, uh, their education uh, uh, put emphasis on this clean water and sanitation and affordable and clean energy. Uh, Tongji University is the best. Uh, and in terms of decent work and economic growth, Auckland University of Technology and industry in, in innovation and infrastructure, the University of Tokyo is the best in this world. 
and Sustainable City and Community Communities. Uh, Simon Fraser University is the best in this world. Uh, now it's about Albert University. Hmm? Uh, I mentioned just you, uh, the, the, just now it's the best uh, university in time education, uh, the best university in terms of higher in terms of education. So uh, this is the tale of Albok City with Albok University. Actually, Albok City uh, before that, uh, 1960, 1950s, is one of the uh, flourishing. It was one of the flourishing city because of the uh, shipbuilding uh, industries, but uh, uh, in 1970s, the city, the the the, the, the uh, industries is declining, was declining because of the competition from Japan and Korea, uh, and the population of the city is decreasing eh, between 1970 to 1990. Yeah? And then Albox University was founded in 1974, and the Albox University main focus are. Uh, uh, environmental and sustainable development, yeah? and uh, then and the uh, how they deliver the the the, 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 the curriculum uh, based on uh, the BSPBL problem based learning uh, and in the teaching learning. So in one semester only one month uh, uh, teaching learning uh, lectures. The rest is problem based learning. I mean real 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 uh, problem. It's not uh, not uh, a theoretical problem. Yeah? So now the city is flourishing as main producer of wind turbine, solar panel, and, tele and tele uh, telecommunication equipment, as well as knowledge-based industries. So uh, I was there uh, in 2002, so I can, I can see the city uh, many, many at that time, uh, many, many uh, premises uh, vacant, no, nobody, <laughs> nobody used the building. Uh, then after that, now you can see that the city is flourishing because of the uh, alumni or the graduate of the Albok University. And then uh, uh, this is a tale of Stanford, eh? Stanford University uh, with Silicon Valley. Yeah? So uh, Stanford University is one of the best university in time education. Uh, uh, it, it is uh, 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 number three uh, in, uh, in time education. It is uh, number one, eh? number one. Uh, 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 universities. Eh? Uh, the university is very, very good in, in, in producing graduate and also uh, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. So the entrepreneur not only for undergraduate but even master and PhD student. So they produce uh, 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 entrepreneur, innovative entrepreneur with innovative new product. Eh? So now you can see the Silicon Valley is flourishing and one of the uh, best region in the world. Uh, and the, the highest uh, uh, paid uh, workers there and the most expensive properties uh, in Silicon Valley. Uh, so this is about the uh, uh, Silicon Valley, uh, uh, the Palo Alto, Palo Alto from small, small city. Now it's very good, very uh, uh, flourishing city because of the uh, Stanford uh, University. Uh, okay, so uh, again, about the Stanford University, yeah? uh, the, fo the following what war to Stanford University supported faculty and graduate entrepreneurship to build self-sufficient local industry in what later known to be Silicon Valley. You see. So we have also Valley, Kinta Valley in Ipo, or Pinji Valley in your in, in your Polytechnic, and of course in our UKM is a Lembang Langat, Langat Sungai Langat Valley. Yeah? So now you can see a yeah, hollow packet. Hollow packet actually developed by the alumni with new product, Silicon Graphic, Sun Microsystem, Cisco, Yahoo, Google, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, Snapchat. This is very, very common uh, company to us. And, and it is, and they are actually started in, in, in Palo Alto, uh, started by, by, uh, by the graduate of the university uh, because of their knowledge and their innovation and new highly uh, high tech knowledge eh? and and nobody uh, no, nobody uh, at the time when they start the company actually like like blue ocean they have no competition eh? so they can uh, flourish they can uh, grow very fast now all over the world use their product eh? so now uh, uh, silicon valley is a you can see headquarters of more than 30 businesses in fortune fortune 1000 eh? 
and thousands of startup companies uh, in the area. And then our university, UKM, eh? uh, this is uh, uh, in, in, in 2009, Innovative Entrepreneurship Initiative introduced to our, in our Senate. Uh, and then uh, in 2010, Academic Entrepreneurship Initiative uh, passed by our Senate. And by 2017, more than 250 startup companies owned by UKM alumni. Eh? And about 150 is ICT related companies, software developers, I see designers and motherboard designers, but I don't see civil engineering uh, companies. Uh, I'm actually from civil engineering. I hope more, more, more civil engineering uh, uh, graduate uh, set up their business uh, in, in Bangi uh, or in my area. In my in my area is Bandar Seri Putra, just beside Bandar Baru Bangi. <clears throat> this figure is uh, in 2017 when I was still the deputy vice uh, chancellor. But now maybe more, maybe less because of the pandemic. Eh? I think more because now they can, uh, can see spill over to Bandar Sri Putra, just beside Bandar, uh, Bandar Baru Bangi. I can, I can see many, many startup companies owned by our graduate. So in the mosque, in the masjid, I can uh, sometimes many, some, some, somebody, someone come to me and then uh, shake hand and then uh, kiss my hand. So, uh, so I feel, I feel stunned. Why, why these people kiss my hand? I say, oh, Bandar Tok Riza. Uh, you are you are uh, uh, my mentor last time through online learning. <laughs> so so this is the, the situation in UKM. Hopefully this one will be uh, uh, continuous and will be uh, become bigger bigger agenda. And then this is the tale of social entrepreneurship. Uh, uh, this is uh, tackling social issues while generating profit for financial sustainability. So Prophet, this is Muhammad Yunus, uh, founder of Gar Gar Gramin Bank, an institution that provides micro credit loan to those in need to help them develop financial self-sufficiency. Uh, so actually, uh, last time uh, we engaged him as a professor in our university in UKM uh, to, to uh, uh, develop our social entrepreneurship program. And then in our countries, we have Yasmin Rashid, uh, she is about she is talking about vaccine for livestock and aquaponic, mm -hmm. uh, and then now top business school now is offering twice as many courses on non-profit management as they did in two thousand eight, and Stanford University program on social entrepreneurship since two thousand eleven they produce a lot of many many uh, 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 social entrepreneurship uh, in this world not only in America but in all over the world uh, Stanford University. And then, way forward, eh? way forward. A higher education institution must play a significant role in ensuring the sustainability of its surrounding and the nation. So how, how to do that? Again? How, how, how to, to initiate, how to move forward? Uh, so our university, uh, our universities, not only UKM and, 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 and Polytech, how we move forward. So we are actually become the guardian of the sustainability of cities. For example, uh, how, how Politico Omar, Politico Omar become the gross engine, the economic engine for IPO, at least for Pinji Valleys or Klang Kinta Valleys. For, for UKM, how UKM become the, uh, the main, uh, the main uh, source or the main engine uh, uh, to, 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 uh, to propel economic growth of a cities, even the countries. So first, the quality education, uh, we can see Albok, uh, Albok, uh, Albok University. I impressed very bad, uh, impressed uh, how how they deliver uh, the, the knowledge, uh, how they deliver uh, the curriculum to the student uh, based on problem based learning, problem based learning. I mean real uh, problem based learning, uh, not like recent problem based learning, uh, real problem based learning. And also this Waterloo University, they have extensive internship. Uh, I've met the dean, the dean of the uh, engineering faculty, and they explained to me how they do it. So, so actually, uh, in one semester, only one or two months in the campus, the rest they will go out. Uh, they go out and work as a uh, work-based learning. And then uh, we 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 can con we can we can focus uh, our initiative, uh, research research initiative related to uh, sustainable development goal, uh, like Albok University. Uh, they they they. Really uh, focus their research on sustainability of cities, and you can see now we can see now Albok City is flourishing 
we are uh, while before is the dying city, dying city, uh, the number of the population is de was decreasing. Now it's increasing. Uh, I think uh, 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 well, not many people knows where is Albok, but Albok is very the northern part of the world in, in Denmark. Uh, very cold during winter. You can see ice on the road during January. Uh, but now it's flourishing eh? uh, because of the uh, uh, alumni of the university. And then the, the North Carolina University, Tongjing University, uh, Auckland University, Technology, and uh, Simon Fraser University. Eh? So their research mainly on, uh, they focus on sustainable development goal. And then innovative entrepreneurship. Eh? Uh, this is innovative entrepreneurship. Uh, uh, Stanford University, MIT, this is a, a very good example. Actually, if you look into the uh, MIT, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, alumni, uh, the alumni uh, uh, output uh, in terms of uh, uh, what, 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 what I call it, um, uh, uh, output of economic output uh, uh, is more than Malaysia and Indonesia. Uh, that's the alumni of uh, MIT and of, of course Stanford University is more than uh, Malaysian uh, output uh, in terms of economy. And of course, the social entrepreneurship, uh, social entrepreneurship, uh, like Stanford University, they put emphasis on that. Now uh, they have, they produce many, many uh, social entrepreneurship uh, uh, in this world, not only in America. So uh, this entrepreneurship initiative is very, very important, uh, not only for undergraduate students, but for even more for master and PhD students because they have special knowledge, they have innovative knowledge, innovative uh, high tech technology with them. So, so we can we can uh, we can uh, uh, put this emphasis uh, to them as well, not only for undergraduate. Uh, so our our research input must be from the industry and community, and then uh, curriculum input also from uh, industry and community and the output. Uh, also the same thing, go to them. Eh? Uh, startup companies, uh, talent, uh, research output, uh, straight to the community and, and industry. Eh? If, you look, if, you look, if, you look, if you look into the picture uh, at the right hand side, this is Stanford University. You can see the university surrounded by many, many uh, world-class university uh, were start, started by the alumni. Eh? And uh, for transport research, uh, for transport research, uh, what, what we are going to do with the transport research? Because I'm from, from transport uh, uh, research group, uh, but it's not, not, it's not uh, only for the transport research, but I think for any, 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 uh, any uh, research group, uh, the same thing here. First, we can go for the new material, uh, the new material, uh, waste to variable material, and of course, advanced material, and then we can we can uh, 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 we can put our, our, our we can give our focus to because I, I call it few few uh, few uh, food energy and water because this is now is very very uh, important to the world uh, food of course energy and water of course now you can see flooding anywhere but in many many parts of the world they have no water and, and now artificial intelligence because this is the force I R the fourth industrial revolution, and also big data, yeah, uh, big data, and uh, of course, education research. The last thing is education research. It's not uh, the last, but it's not the least. Yeah? It's very important to education research. Yeah? It's not only transport research, not limited to transport research, but for other kind of research as well. So uh, this is an example, a new material from waste. Yeah? Uh, we can the road surface, uh, variable uh, road surface. Yeah? Example, example. And then new advanced material, this is just an example. Uh, conventional construction, we can use concrete, uh, pre-stressed concrete. Uh, if we use uh, carbon nanotube, we can construct a very thin bridge, bridge but much stronger than concrete, hmm? uh, much lighter and, 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 and uh, uh, longer span. Uh, so we, we, must, we must see this possibility. And then, and the road surface. Eh? Now we have a very thick surface for the our highway. With the new material, we can construct our road. It's very thin, eh? very thin road surface. This is only example. And the food, energy, and water. Uh, 
we can do we can uh, conduct a study how how to utilize a uh, road reserve road reserve as a pharmaceutical a food and pharmaceutical production uh, of course uh, what kind of uh, trees what kind of crop we can plant and how to harvest uh, how to harvest without uh, endangering the people uh, the traffic uh, the motorism uh, so we you, we must do this kind of service because we have plenty of space uh, uh, as a road, uh, as a road, uh, in the road service, the road, uh, road reserve. You know? So at the same the same time, uh, we can plant trees uh, uh, not only to harvest uh, uh, food, but also as a road um, safety, yeah? road safety. Yeah? So when uh, some uh, so some if a driver lost control, the tree will protect them. Yeah? So we can we can do this kind of research, and then energy. This is energy. Yeah? Energy now become uh, very, very important. Uh, uh, so we can use this example. Yeah? Nano plumber sulfide is very efficient in harvesting solar energy. So we can use our street lighting, even our uh, open street guard, yeah? uh, guardrail in the road and the highway uh, become a, 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 a photovoltaic yeah? to produce energy. And also photovoltaic road surface. Uh, this kind of study is conducted in many, many parts of China now. And water, uh, water now is really very, very important. Uh, uh, this, this, uh, the picture actually, uh, uh, this is a, a small, a small portable uh, water, uh, water drinking water uh, uh, facilities. Uh, so you, these, these people can collect the water from the roadside and can drink the water. So we can use this kind of research. And also this big, big, uh, uh, big uh, plan, a uh, big plan, because uh, a highway actually is a huge uh, water catchment, mm -hmm. uh, and our highway is not porous. Eh? So almost one hundred percent of the rainwater of the storm water actually goes to the nearby uh, drainage system. Sometimes, uh, many, many times, uh, causing uh, flood, eh? a flash flood. Eh? So we can do some kind of research how to, to harvest the water from the highway uh, to be used as a drinking water or even for the uh, agriculture. At the same time, reduce the flooding. And artificial intelligence. Yeah? Uh, now it is a uh, in thing. Yeah? Uh, artificial intelligence is very important now. Uh, uh, although we are civil, sometimes civil engineers say, oh, this is not our area. The mechanical engineer said, oh, this is not our area. No, we, we can't say that anymore because every, everyone, everybody now is uh, involved with the artificial intelligence. We can use it. We can adopt it uh, for our, our application. Eh? For example, I'm the, from the transport, uh, uh, transport research. Uh, I, I, my research last time mainly on intelligent transport system. I use a lot of artificial intelligence in my, in my research. Yeah? In my research. So uh, in many, many applications, we can use AI. Eh? Uh, so so uh, we can develop uh, the AI. How, how to use AI in, in our, our uh, production, our, our, our research. Eh? Our research eh? Now about big data. Uh, now, pe now people are talking about uh, big data, eh? uh, big data. So uh, big data now is uh, very, very important. You can see now uh, uh, Facebook, huh? Facebook, uh, they, can, they, can, they can identify your friend by using your face in the Facebook. Uh, Facebook can, can, uh, can alert you. Your friend is uh, now is following you, something like that. Huh? Uh, the same thing with Instagram. Huh? Uh, uh, or now uh, even Google, huh? when you browse anything from Google, the, uh, the system can can uh, offer you uh, uh, something like uh, advertisement. Eh? Uh, uh, how can these people know eh? that this 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 uh, good? I, I want to buy this kind of good. Uh, so so the system can can detect you and 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 keep all the data of your thing you buy from Lazada, you buy thing from from Shopee, for example. Eh? They, they put the, dat, the, 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 the big data, the data, data center, and they study you, and they know what is your preference, uh, what, uh, you, what, 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 what type of material you are going to buy. So this is really uh, big data 
uh, big data. Uh, so we can we can we can uh, put also our research on big data, how to apply uh, this big data in our our area. For me, for me, is a, a transport. Eh? Uh, maybe other other research group we can we can study this kind of data, this kind of uh, research, uh, uh, big data. Now, now in the US, they are, they are talking about this in many, many universities, even the hospital. I visited, I visited Brown University, their hospital. Uh, they are talking about big data. They have a supercomputer, a, a supercomputer uh, by IBM uh, with 1,000 processor, 1,000 processor uh, to process the data. And they are very proud of it. Uh, the same thing with uh, MIT, Harvard, you know, uh, uh, they, they have they have this kind of uh, uh, research eh? and then they're very proud of it and uh, and then they, they they want us to be the same thing so they even they, they when, when I was there uh, they offer me uh, to talk to IBM to, to get special price of the supercomputer because they said they can get the price only two million 2.2 million uh, US dollar for the uh, supercomputer the actual price will be five million US dollar but for university, they can get 2.2 uh, uh, million US dollar supercomputer with 1,000 1,000 uh, processor. So we can we can we can with the big computer we can process any any data very 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 fast. Hmm? So uh, uh, so we have we have to to, to train our our student uh, our researcher uh, how how to to get this big data how to see data mining we call it data mining eh? data mining. And, 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 and how, how to process the data and to get something out of it. And education research, eh? education research. Yeah, education research um, is very important now. Uh, we neglect it, yeah? uh, we neglect it. We just give to education faculty. It's not right, you know, because they usually focus on, on, on the teaching learning, micro teaching, assessment, you know, it's not, 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 not focused to engineering. Not focused to civil, to mechanical, or electronic. You know, they're not focused to that kind of uh, research. No? So we are the one actually who knows our field. So so we can we can focus our research uh, to develop uh, a, a, a new program, a new curriculum. Huh? Because now uh, we, we are talking about innovative entrepreneurship, eh? into, into innovative entrepreneurship, not entrepreneurship selling 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 uh, selling nasi lemak. You know. Uh, yeah, when, when we start when, when we start our, our entrepreneurship program last time, many many of our students become uh, you know become a supplier or, or sell uh, online uh, something like Muslimah, uh, Muslim busana Muslimah, uh, busana Muslimah. Even men are selling busana Muslimah because uh, this is the easiest the easiest way to go uh, to, to to go to to, to expand your business. No? Uh, but now we want we are talking about innovative huh? based on research a new technology a new product new thing huh? uh, so so how, how to to produce the student uh, the, the graduate this kind of graduate innovative entrepreneurship like the like the uh, uh, Stanford University and then yeah now we have we are dealing with the fourth industrial revolution huh? this is real revolution huh? if you are not careful, our graduate, our, even our university, will asking. Eh? Nobody want to go, want to come to enroll to our university, uh, to Polytech, for example, eh? because they can get somewhere else. Eh? They can get somewhere else uh, with uh, much cheaper, with shorter time, and they can get better work with higher salary, eh? or they can start start their business very very fast, eh? very uh, very early compared to four years in university. And then to identify future competencies and skills, eh? because now the, the, the world is very fast changing in, in unprecedented uh, rate, eh? very fast changing. So we, we must, we must uh, 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 find, we have to find out what's the future competencies eh? required in the, in the future. And then employability, again. what kind of employability? We produce every year many, many graduate. Eh? But uh, some of them, many of them, in fact, is unable to get job. But many, many people from outside Malaysia come here and get, get job with very good salary. And, uh, uh, you know, in Cyberjaya, Cyberjaya, you know, many, many uh, 
international uh, uh, professionals. There are some, some, many of them still very, very young, below 40, you know, but they can, they manage to get very good salary. But at the same time, our, our, our graduate uh, is uh, unable to get job, you know. And the mode of delivery. And now we, 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 we especially this pandemic, yeah, we, we, have, uh, we have to go online. But I've seen uh, many, many uh, lecturers uh, deliver uh, uh, the, the curriculum just like in the classroom, just like in the classroom. So this is, uh, well, we, have, we, we must do something about it and find the best method to deliver the knowledge. Yeah? Like the uh, 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 Albok University, mm -hmm. It's problem-based learning. Uh, uh, Harvard is actually the case studies, the case studies. Uh, MIT is uh, something like uh, what they call it. Uh, uh, what's that? Um, uh, they, they, they design and operate something like the start first year, uh, design, uh, concise design and, 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 and operating. Yeah. And industrial-based education, uh, industrial-based education and work-based education. So now in Germany is very, very famous now, uh, industrial-based education or work-based education. So the students really work in a company at the same time learning uh, with the university. So, uh, yeah, again, okay, before that, uh, about this uh, uh, employability, I have one story. You know? uh, this is uh, about uh, uh, Cyberjaya. Tansri uh, Mustafa Kamal, uh, actually he was, he is now, uh, he is currently, uh, uh, even before that, uh, the biggest uh, developer uh, in the area uh, in Cyberjaya. You know. So uh, he noticed that uh, many, many uh, Malaysian uh, is not, not able to find job in, in Cyberjaya. But many uh, outsiders, about 10,000 of them uh, from all over the countries, working uh, as a uh, 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 working as a professional, uh, you can see our Indonesian, Pakistani. Mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, uh, no, but ten thousand of them uh, with very good salaries. You know? So uh, he 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 uh, he you know he he, he recruited three hundred of the unable uh, the, the jobless I mean jobless Malaysian graduate, and within three months uh, with him he trained them. Eh? He trained them. Uh, how to speak, how to present yourself, you know, how to be confident, you know. So after three months, uh, the jobless, this jobless uh, graduate apply uh, for the job uh, uh, in, in, in Cyberjaya and all of them managed to, got, to get a, a very good uh, a job with higher starting salary. Yeah? Okay. How about Technopolis? Yeah? Uh, you can technopolis, PO technopolis. We don't have technopolis in Malaysia yet, but now, now uh, uh, in in Turkey, in Korea, technopolis is very famous. In the UK now they call it technopark, yeah, technopark. In US also, in US they call it technopark. You know, so uh, the technopolis is very important. Uh, I don't know how 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 we can start this, but when I was in UKM as a deputy vice chancellor, uh, we have uh, started this initiative. Uh, uh, we visited many many uh, places in Turkey. Uh, uh, how how the how they transfer the knowledge? How they how they, they facilitate uh, their graduate to start uh, a company? As to start an innovative uh, company. You know? uh, in, in fact, you know, uh, in one university uh, in in uh, in the uh, Technopolis, the lecturers and the student managed to produce uh, uh, military equipment. Uh, military equipment. Uh, so now, but and then they are now their 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 uh, their market is not only for Turkish, but even the U.S. Army, U.S. Army uh, uh, buy from them, you know, especially the bulletproof vest, yeah, bulletproof vest, and also paint, uh, uh, style, uh, radar, radar absorbing paint, yeah, radar absorbing 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 paint, you know. So when you paint your, your, your aeroplane with that kind of paint, the radar cannot detect you. So the, uh, the American army buy from them. You see how, how high tech they are, you know? Even the US buy from them. You know, the US companies cannot produce this kind of material. They have, but, super, but uh, inferior quality. And like the, like the bulletproof vest, 
their, their vest is very light, not like the American one. So the Yusami buy from them. You just imagine you, uh, 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 lecturer, you, you, university lecturers with their students manage to, 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 uh, to produce that kind of material and sell to the American. You know? So uh, and the way forward, you know, we must think about this. Eh? UKM Technopolis, PO Technopolis, or any, any university technopolis. Eh? Uh, uh, we actually, we have now, uh, we call it, what, what do you call it? Uh, incubator, but the incubator is not like Technopolis. You know? Technopolis must, must be a of that. So this is my imagination. You know? So we have our campus in one side of the river, and we have also uh, the other side of the river, uh, buildings, everything. You know? uh, we have Sungai Langat in UKM, and I think in, 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 in Polytechnic, you have Pinji, Pinji River. Uh, so we can something like this. You know? This is my, just my imag imagination. You know? So, and then after that, we can go bigger. Eh? You can go bigger. Lembah Langat, eh? <laughs> Lembah Langat High Tech Park, uh, or in in Bangi in, in Ipoh maybe Lembah Pinji or Lembah Kinta, you know. Um, uh, I've I've, been, I've seen this this uh, in, in Kona Kona in Turkey yeah, in Izmir. Uh, initially they have a very small very small uh, techno park, you know, and their focus is really on automotive eh, in automotive, you know. So so this, the the graduates uh, the lecturers. Um, uh, focus on uh, producing uh, and design um, material uh, material for automotive uh, even design uh, design of anything like design and uh, uh, and uh, part uh, or part uh, of the automotive and now you can see suddenly mercedes usually mercedes slowly transfer their their vendors uh, their vendors activities uh, to the uh, this area uh, buy material buy component from kona from izmir uh, but now the whole operation of uh, uh, lorries, uh, truck, and buses, eh, uh, product production, the whole thing now moved to Kona area, uh, to Izmir. If you go, if you travel along that university, along, uh, near the university, you can see the Mercedes uh, facilities, big, very big, bigger than Fiat, Fiat, uh, Fiat, uh, Fiat facilities in Turin. Eh? In Turin, I can, I, I see, I, I mean, uh, I was there as, last time, I can, I can see, uh, 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 I could see uh, their facility is very big, almost one third of the Turin uh, actually uh, belong to Fiat, their facilities, but Mercedes facilities in Kona, uh, in Izmir is much, much bigger. So, so, so I'm, I'm thinking like along this line, if we can, uh, the universities uh, become the engine of growth of a city, but, but even not only a city, but a nation. Eh? So we can produce something like Lembah Langan High Tech or like Silicon Valley in the US. Eh? And also, uh, Uncle Umar, uh, Wali Wali Technic, Uncle Umar with uh, Pinji Valley or Kinta Valley. Kinta Valley is much bigger. Huh? So, so uh, in the future, uh, we can we can we can see this. Eh? We can see this uh, through our our system, through our research, uh, through our uh, entrepreneurship program. You know? So, if our lecturers, yes, is a very uh, on top, uh, highly entrepreneurship and highly entrepreneur. And our students also highly entrepreneur. This is, is this possible eh? within within five years to ten years? You can see this kind of uh, development. Uh, so we have become the engine of the growth. Eh? We are like the, the Arbok University, not only the engine of growth, but uh, but reverse eh? a, a dying cities, reversing a dying cities into a flourishing and uh, growing uh, cities. Eh? So the same thing here. Uh, for me, for, for, for my, my, this is my, 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 my imagination, uh, my hope, one day, uh, uh, Polytech Onkoma, Mystique Bangsa, and also other universities in, the, in, in Malaysia become the engine of growth of the, one, or the city, the particular cities, and also to the, the countries. Yeah? With that, sekian, uh, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. What a beautiful treat, I would say, for the mind-blowing points addressed by Dato just now. Thank you very much, Dato IR, Dr. Riza. Yes, our dearest Zoomers today, we are at the grand online opening ceremony of the International Conference on Sustainable Cities in conjunction with the 15th Malaysian Universities Transport Research Forum Conference 2021, ICOS and MUTRFC 2021.